Yeah, Young Rich, Papa Cool Edition, Malikota Kuchapai Show, Paka Ilale. Ah, Komajina na Jirikana Kama Magodu, na Mimi Dio CEO wa Magodu Solicitors. Uh, Magodu Solicitors, it's a business I started. Uh, as a sole proprietorship na hapo ndio nilikuja nikajiita solicitor general so in other words i'm the solicitor general of magodu solicitors magodu solicitors in a specialized na kukopa madeni um, our main core business is kukopa deni na kopa hapa na kopa pale my background is uh, I have come from a very humble background. Nimetoka kwa humble background. Ukiangalia kwetu nyumbani. Wale siblings wangu na wazazi all of them ni watu wa pole sana. Mimi tu ndio nimekuwa mtu chap chap mtu anaweza ongea na watu so mimi am the black sheep in the family na ndio imenifikisha mahali ambapo niko kwa sababu mimi naweza kuongea na watu na which is a plus in my business kwa sababu kukopa kitu inataka word of mouth uh, my net worth sahi ni i think i'm worth around mita moja Eh, kwa sababu ukishikanisha madeni yangu yote saa hii all the loans that i have accrued for the last 5 years inaweza wekwa kwa urefu wa mita 100 ah uh, kukopa nimekopa uh, tuseme ninataka kamkopo kidogo kutoka kwa kwa na kuja na kukopa 200 Uh, wakati mwingine sasa naenda kwa mtu mwingine na mkopa 200 ndio nakuja kwako na kulipa ile 200 yako na ile 200 ya ule mwingine so wakati nitakuja kwako ni kukope mara ya pili nitakukopa 500 ndio niweze kulipa ule wa 200 na nibaki na shilingi kidogo ya 100 300 so ni nini inazuia mimi wewe nikikuja kwako unikopeshe 1100 eh virahisi sana kwa sababu saa hiyo nime gain trust yako na nime gain confidence na utanipea 1100 hata bila bila maneno ah uh, when i finished high school na kubuka wakati huo the hype thing was kulea marasta na kama wakati huo vile tulimaliza shule nilikuwa na ujana mingi na ndio kwa maana niliweza kulea rasta Zangu zilikuwa mrefu hata zilikuwa zinafika hapa ndio hata watu mtaani walinipea nickname ya Rasta Dasta kwa sababu zilikuwa mrefu sana hata mtu angetumia kama mop. Uh, back then I used to look like a very rebellious person. Tuseme ukiwa na Rasta unakaa mtu militant. Eh, mtu haezi aminika. Lakini When I got rid of them wakati nilinyoa ni, ni nikaziweka shini I just walked into the bank na walinipea mkopo ya 1 million shillings bila hata collateral hata bila surety and that is how I made my first million in debt kusafiri nimesafiri unajua uh, wakati umekopa watu sana you've uh, you've gotten money from so many people in the same area hao ah, watu kuna wakati wanafika wanajajaruka na wanakumulika na wakati wanakumulika inakuwa very difficult for you to operate in under those circumstances Una, unaelewa you get what i mean eh? so inabidi you change your jurisdiction ya kukopa unatoka mahali hapo sasa unaenda mahali pengine na hivyo ndivyo hiyo ndio imenifanya nikakuwa mtu mwenye amesafiri sana ndio kwa maana nimekuwa nikitravel sana hata ukiangalia eh, kuna hii kitu inaitwa okoa jahazi jahazi ni kabot kadogo kabot kadogo sana 
nilikuwa nimekopa hiyo kitu sana mpaka hao watu wa okoa jahazi waliweza kunitengenezea yangu sababu sasa ya ku, kuovakopa hiyo jahazi waliniambia sasa wewe ile kitu imebaki tu ni ukope meli uokoe meli sasa wamenitengenezea yangu special inaitwa okoa meli okoa meli eh <laughs> okoa meli <laughs> eh ndio umesema magondo <laughs> wana mjua vizuri tena sana in fact amekuwa customer yangu for the like past two years kitabu yangu ya madeni yamejaza tuko na kesi na yeye kwa police as we speak tumemaliza ingine last month i mean ako na future wao msee anaenda mbali by the makondo ni rafiki yangu sana bana makondo ni rafiki yangu sana kwanza tukiwa pamoja utaona intimacy kati yetu sisi ni watu ambao tunasiki sana sana ule jamaa yani tukikutana vitu mbili hazikosi kutembea vitu mbili hazikosi kutembea kitu kama ngumi na matusi lazima zitembee kwa sababu yule jamaa ni yule mtu wa mateni sana lazima tuonane hapa kwa hapa one thing i love about magondo he's a team player enye magondo ni mchezaji akiwamulia awashike aweke pamoja awacheze hey, my friend mutachezwa mchezeke Yeah, he is a player. Hiyo nayo si siri. Iko kitu moja na huyu jamaa ambaye inanifurahisha sana, inani inspire. Yule jamaa ni ako very well self driven. Yule jamaa yani ako very well self driven. Ako self driven kabisa. Ame drive majama wengi insane hapa. Ame wa drive insane. Watu wamepelekwa hapa mental hospital bana kwa sababu ya mateni. Jamaa ameshindwa kulipa. During my free time, mimi ni mtu napenda kusoma vitabu. Na pia mimi huona masimena kadhaa. Among the favorite books ambazo nimeweza kusoma na nikasikia zikini inspire. Kuna kitabu kimoja ambacho kinaitwa My Life in Crime. Kimeadishwa kimeandikwa na huyu mwandishi anaitwa John Kiriamete. Hiyo kitabu imeweza kunipea motisha na, na inspiration sababu my line of business inaelekea pande hiyo sana. Masimena ni kadhaa nimeona lakini uh, the best movie ambayo nimeweza kuona na ikani inspire ambayo ina relate sana na maisha yangu ni hii movie ya Leonardo DiCaprio inaitwa Cash Me If You Can hiyo simena mpaka leo hii niko na VCD yake hata pale hata cassette yake sijawahi potesa iko hapo ni simena ambayo nimekuwa nikirudia mara kwa mara kwa sababu ni kitu imeni inspire advice yangu kwa vijana simple sana you should not be ashamed usikue mtu wa kuona haya kuona aibu kwa sababu you see ati saa yote unaogopa ati ati kukopa ati unaogopa wewe nitashekereo <laughs> uta utalala jadu yangu so eh, vijana mimi naweza wa encourage don't be a person of kukua na ile soni kuona aibu you know ko iguado ni kitu kama hiyo yes uh, my favorite quote ni uchibe shimo kufunika shimo ikine yani ukishiba shimo hiyo mchaka utumie ku na ni kitu practical nimefanya kwa biashara yangu kwa sababu nikikukopa hapa ali pandeni pale na hiyo pesa yako nakopa mwingine na lipa deni yako <laughs> so I, i believe that's the best quote naweza washia watu nayo na